Hey guys, um, this is the demonstration I'm going to show you how to backup SAP HANA using the native uh, backup console. We are not using any third party tools in order to backup the SAP HANA database here. All we are doing is using the native uh, tool which is inbuilt into SAP HANA. We will use that and take the backup. So before uh, going further, uh, let me connect to the host. We need to verify a couple of uh, services which are running. We'll log in as a root. So SAP HANA has an inbuilt, uh, you know, backup and recovery tool which can uh, perform backups at a delta level, or you can take a snapshot of the uh, database. Uh, you can also do redo log backups, uh, snapshot of the backup uh, databases, and different other uh, things like uh, you can check uh, the consistency of the backups. So it's a well versed tool uh, with a lot of features. So I'm logging into the root user of the host. This particular uh, SAP HANA was installed on uh, Suzy Linux. You can see uh, it's installed on Suzy Linux. Uh, so I cannot pull much details uh, using uh, you know the root user, but still uh, the root user can be used for uh, different logs, particularly. Uh, regarding HDB logs, uh, you, can, you can use the root user. Uh, what I'm going to do is log into the uh, application owner. So we logged into the application owner. I just want to show you uh, we have a dedicated uh, directory for backup there. Uh, so just uh, let's go into the backup directory. We can view all the logs here as well as the data that's getting backed up. Uh, basically, in the production scenarios, what they do is, uh, you know, um, they mount it on a separate storage device. They mount this part, um, you know, as an NFS store, so that uh, the backups are not stored on the same host as what SAP HANA is running. So that's a redundancy solution that offers uh, with uh, SAP HANA. So we can view all the logs and everything here. Um, I just want to uh, go back a little bit. All right. So here, uh, what I want to do is I want to check a few services here, like uh, HDB name server should be running. There's an index service uh, that should be running, and there's a statistic service that should be running, and uh, the preprocessor service uh, that should be running in order to take a backup of SAP on a database. So in order to verify that, what I need to do is type HAP. HDB um, info. So here are the processes that are running. Uh, we have the name server running, preprocessor, compile server. We don't require for the backup, but uh, it's definitely an essential process to run the databases. And we have index service, in index server, and statistic server service. And we also have uh, the XS uh, engine service. These uh, are the crucial services that needs to run uh, in order to perform the backup. So what we can do is uh, we can shut down these services. We will pick around uh, 10 to 20 seconds to shut down all the services. All right. So just let's verify. See, all the services are shut down. It's just uh, uh, the application owner uh, process is running. Uh, that's the only thing is running. And we have HDB info, which we typed in just now is running. So the server is completely down right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up. This actually starts all the services in a sequential order in order to get the consistency on the entire SAP tool. See, SAP HANA is an uh, in-memory uh, database. So whatever the transactions and all these things are happening, they are happening in, in the NVRAM. So uh, there is a particular system architecture to build a SAP HANA. So uh, it's very important to maintain a consistency uh, for SAP HANA. There, there, there should be no, um, you know, for, uh, getting a fault tolerant, uh, we, we lose the uh, uh, databases and it's more important to get the backups of uh, SAP HANA databases that's the most important thing 
So the default frequency is like 15 uh, minutes. Every 15 minutes, there's a log backup which goes uh, to the backup console. Uh, a backup job gets triggered uh, every 15 uh, minutes. But in, in real-time production environments, when SAP ANI is used for ONTP workloads, uh, basically what we can do is we can reduce that framework, uh, the time interval, to something like five uh, or um, less than five uh, minutes. So what we can uh, do is just verify, quick verify uh, all the services are up. That's uh, all the services are up. So that uh, actually brings us uh, to what uh, we need to check on um, on the console end. We can also do a few other services like uh, user restore. Uh, that one I'll show you uh, later on. Um, now what I want to do is I want to connect to the management studio. Uh, you can use all type of uh, SQL commands. Even you can use uh, SQL commands to backup, uh, like select database and perform the backup and all these things. You can you can use all the SQL commands. That's uh, not a big deal. So we logged into the system here uh, to the administration console or the management studio. So uh, this is a system we have, and uh, there are few. Uh, you know, we can see the catalogs here, uh, the content, uh, the provisioning site, and the security site. So what we can do is we can uh, go to backup console and perform all the backup uh, utilities, or you can open an SQL console and perform the SQL commands here. So before I do that, uh, let me show you a, just a brief description about uh, the administration console. Here is the, the thing, uh, you can add a specific system, whether it's a single container or it contains multiple containers. Uh, container is basically, you know, when we are doing the tenant, um, you know, we're giving it as a service, the database as a service, we can use the single container and multiple containers option. So this is the place where uh, we can add a new system to the management console. And uh, these are the settings uh, what uh, we can get and the properties of uh, uh, the console. Where we can see all the services are started and they're running. Uh, we have three uh, high priority alerts here. And the different things, the disk space, uh, the memory usage and everything. We can take a look at the uh, landscape here um, of what is exactly happening with all the different uh, services that are running. and. We can check uh, the performance of each and every service. Um, it's a very good option uh, to check for the performances. We can verify the volume information and uh, diagnosis files is one thing where uh, you know we can uh, download all the diagnosis files and uh, check what is the issue with. Uh, uh, we can also see uh, the backup log here. Um, you can actually uh, see this backup log and and take a deep look into what is uh, the problem here. So. Anyway, this backup was successful, so nothing is in the backup log. So uh, this is a basic uh, information about uh, you know the uh, uh, SAP HANA Management Studio. Uh, we also have, I think, you can open the projects once uh, you get uh, you create a database and everything. So let's go to the backup and recovery console, which is our main topic today. I'm opening the console here. Uh, see, we have like no backup uh, operations currently in progress and uh, get all the details and this is the place where we verify our back, backup catalogs and this is the place where uh, we can check the log backups. So right now nothing is configured for this database so let's go ahead and uh, do a configuration right now. See backend is a service which runs uh, you know which processes the backup and restore operations on SAP systems. and. We can get all the details here, like whether you are using the destination type as uh, file or backup and the maximum uh, file size, all the details. But I'm not going to configure this back end uh, right now. So what I want to do is I am not going to change anything as of now, but I'm going to enable the automatic uh, log backup. Uh, and this is a backup interval which I was talking about, uh, which is by default it is 15 minutes. What we can do is uh, we can reduce that to five minutes, or if the performance is not getting afforded uh, on on the system. So that's the configuration there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the backup. So I'm going to run a file level backup, as I said. 
and this is the destination for the backup you can uh, give a dif different mount path uh, here uh, in order to get the redundancy so i click finish here that's it uh, the backup got completed and four volumes were backed up in this uh, we can leave the log here now with all the different services uh, each and every service gets uh, it, uh, its components backed up so we can see all that uh, information in, in the log so let's go to the backup console once again uh, it's here so we have the details here of uh, how much throughput we got the destination type which is file or it's not backend so uh, just completed within 5 seconds and you can get all the details here and you click on log backups you can see a log backup as well as a data backup so log backups can be used uh, to to get it uh, you know transactions even a minute transaction back to the database so that's uh, the end of uh, this uh, small demonstration which i want to show you on sap hana studio so if you if you need any uh, demonstrations on sap hana particularly uh, please contact me um, i'll be able to assist you with that thank you very much for watching